Welcome. In this video, we'll go over the changes to the FL Studio 2025 mixer in detail. The mixer has been updated with dynamic tracks, allowing you to add or remove tracks as needed, with a maximum of 500. We'll cover all the new features this change introduced. Why so many mixer tracks? You told us 125 wasn't enough, and we listened. We chose 500 specifically, as that allows each playlist track to have a corresponding and unique mixer track. Let us know what you'll do with them in the comments. Now we know why there's 500. Why are they dynamic? More efficient use of CPU. Before the FL Studio 2025 update, Every new project started with 125 mixer tracks, plus the master track and the current track. Now, if you open one of the basic templates, you'll see a change. By default, they include just 16 mixer tracks. Why the difference? Even though modern CPUs handle it well, unused mixer tracks still consume a small amount of system resources. To help optimize performance, we've added a new option in the mixer menu called Trim Unused Tracks. This lets you keep your projects lean and efficient, no matter the size. Easier organization throughout the project. In the same spirit of improved performance, this update also helps to reduce visual clutter. If your project only needs 17 mixer tracks, you'll now see just those 17, making it much easier to keep everything in view without being distracted by over 100 unused tracks. Manually adding or removing mixer tracks. The simplest ways to change the number of mixer tracks are found right inside the mixer. Right click the plus button and you'll see several options. You can add tracks from a preset, add a specific number of new tracks, or use increased number of tracks too if you want to set a final track count directly. You can also right-click on any mixer track and choose one of the insert options. This lets you add a single track or multiple tracks to the left of the one you've selected. To remove tracks, select them with Ctrl or Command Shift, click and drag, then right-click them and choose Delete. And remember, if a track has no channels routed to it, no custom name and no plugins, it counts as unused. This means you can clear it automatically using the Trim Unused Tracks option in the mixer's main menu, just like we saw earlier. Automatically adding mixer tracks. Whenever you perform an action that needs a free mixer track, like creating audio or instrument tracks, or linking channels to multiple mixer tracks with Ctrl or Command, Shift and L, FL Studio will first look for any unused tracks in your project. If none are available, new tracks are added automatically for every channel that needs a track. When you remove an instrument or audio track, however, its mixer track isn't deleted. Instead, it resets to a default state. To remove it completely, you can either use Trim Unused Tracks from the Mixer menu or delete it manually. And that's the overview of the improved mixer in FL Studio 2025. For more details, check the video description for links to the manual and the demo projects we've prepared. Happy music making!